Namaste, cuties. I'm Zanza. This is Marty. And today we're making tikka masala with vegetables. Okay, I have no idea how that happens, but I somehow lost the footage how I prepared the meat for our tikka masala the day before. But never mind, it's uh, pretty similar to the tandoori chicken we made. So I'm just gonna show you the footage of the tandoori chicken. But contrary to this, we don't want large pieces of meat. I cut the chicken into bite-sized pieces and seasoned 150 grams of low-fat, very low-fat yogurt with um, lemon and the garam masala we made the other day. Also a little piece of ginger and garlic and that's about it. Let that marinate for at least an hour but I prefer to do that overnight. So for our tikka masala we need the garam masala we made the other day or a store-bought version if you like, two servings of rice, a bell pepper, fresh ginger and garlic, red onions, diced tomatoes, I had peeled tomatoes but I already diced them in my food processor and of course Our chicken we prepared yesterday. Oh my god, I can already smell the spices. We're also gonna need cardamom pots and salt and pepper to taste. If you're feeling brave, you're gonna add a fresh chili pepper as well. And spring onions or scallions. Because everything tastes better with spring onions. So these are all the ingredients we need for an amazing tikka masala. So, no, if no, we... no, 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 let me stop you right there. That is no tikka masala. Mm, yeah, it is. No, it's not. Excuse me, but it isn't authentic, therefore it's not tikka masala. If you want to make an authentic Indian dish, you need to follow the recipe. Yeah, but I don't know. I, I think it would be a little bland without any color in it. Yeah, but don't call it tikka masala then. <sighs> Can you imagine there are people out there putting potatoes in vindaloo curry? I put potatoes in my vindaloo, but I don't eat rice with it. That's outrageous. That's cultural appropriation. Well, I like it. And if it's healthy and tasty... Hmm. Sure, Jen. Let's start by preparing and weighing our vegetables. Crush your garlic clove and mince or grate the ginger. What I like to do is to spoon the rice into a measuring cup to know exactly how much water I need to boil or steam it. Depending on how firm or mushy you want your rice, you add about 1.5 to, to twice as much water as you has rice. Add a pinch of salt to your water and then Take two cardamom pots and open them with a knife. Add them to the water to make your plain white rice a little more flavorful. And then preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Fill your marinated chicken cubes into a baking dish and bake them for 20 minutes. Take a pot, a non-stick one if you have, and cover the bottom with just a bit of water. Stove on high heat and as soon as it's hot add onions, your chili pepper and a teaspoon of garam masala. You will immediately smell the intense aroma of the spices. Now add your ginger and your garlic. Also add a little bit more water if you feel it's necessary. Then once it's cooked a little, add your diced tomatoes to the party. 
stir and combine your ingredients and then set your stove to medium high heat and let the sauce reduce a little. This is absolutely optional, but once you added the chicken breast and the tikka masala is basically done, you can add a little bit more yogurt. I personally love that. But let's not put the cart before the horse. At first you want to add your vegetables. After 20 minutes your chicken breast is done and you can add it to the tikka masala. We don't need all the meat juices though. Um, yum 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 I added the 80 grams of yogurt and it's perfect! for watching my little love bugs. The tikka masala was amazing and we had this awesome lemon cake for dessert. Mm. Disgusting! I was thinking about maybe vlogging or doing a story time but then I figured that I have such a small following and to keep my feet on the ground nobody cares. Maybe I will do it anyway. I'm following a lot of vlog channels and I like listening to their, in some cases, absorbing stories, so we'll see about that later. Don't forget, you can't go wrong as long as you're having fun and stay strong during these troubling times. Sharing toilet paper. Share your toilet paper with someone in need. And please consider subscribing, liking the video and commenting, especially if you have a favorite food you want to see a lower calorie version of. I'll see you tomorrow for another recipe. Bye!